So we just finished our Super Saturday workout in the sun and we were having a conversation about um, what prevent, what stops or prevents people from being great. And to note, to date, I think one of the greatest things that stops people from being great is not following the word of God that says in Romans 12 to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind and also be in the world, but not of the world. And so many times we're looking constantly looking outside to compare ourselves to, um, you know, everybody else, what everybody else is doing, everybody else's hair, everybody else's clothes, everybody else's shape. It, it's just going too far. And what happens is we are so uniquely made. Everybody's talking about DNA and um, crime scene investigators and how they can just use a strand of hair to find out who did this or a drop of blood or a fingerprint. That's because everybody's uniquely made. We're with each other, but we're still individuals. And God has an individual plan for each and every one of us. What happens is we become conformed to the patterns of the world. And so we want bigger breasts. We want a bigger chest. We want bigger biceps. We want more, a bigger house, a bigger car. And we, we want somebody else's man. We want somebody else's woman. And really whatever God has for you it's for you whatever it is that God puts you in your in Jeremiah chapter 1 I don't know if you guys are Bible readers but I am and to make a side note somebody said well Joanna this post is just for um, entertainment or whatever but you you are who you are and, and if the Word of God is in you that's what's gonna come out that's gonna be your opinion that's gonna be the way you think that's gonna be how you are it's not gonna deviate oh I, I'm doing this and then this is the Word of God and so those things are separate that's another lie that the enemy locks us to buy in God is locked to Tuesday Bible study and Sunday no he's 24 hours seven days 365 in your lifetime and in eternity so it, either you in or out he says you whether you be hot or cold because if you look warm he gonna spit you out of his mouth so let me get back to what we were talking about we are so unique that if we if we follow what God told Jeremiah, he says, Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before I brought you forth out of your mother's womb, I knew the plans that I had for you. He told Jeremiah, be strong and very courageous, even like he told Joshua. And he also told Jeremiah, look, don't be afraid of men and their faces. You know that. And you broke down and looking at me. Tell me I'm saying hallelujah, I'm sweating or whatever. Let me tell you something. I've looked at me <laughs> and there are bits and pieces of me that people try to put apart and say crazy or whatever and all that. But when you look at the whole package, I wouldn't trade being me for anybody, for half the stuff. And I'm a, this is another side note. I know I'm not preaching a sermon because I only have about four minutes that I was going to talk to you all today. But be careful about trying to be with somebody or prove somebody you're not crazy. Because what I've seen in 2014 is crazy is now the new sanity and sanity is now called the new crazy. So I actually am very complete and happy and satisfied when certain people call me crazy and then I'm concerned when certain people say oh yeah Joanna because I'm like okay you calling me so be careful about trying to please people that call you crazy be you know clap your hands because certain people think certain things is not crazy which are really just insane if you ask me but anyway let me tell you something about yourself I'm doing this guy love the heat I could turn on my air you know I, I didn't like ain't like I don't got no air I mean I could I could actually done this inside but I love the sunshine because it has so much nutrients and power and and, and so much this inside the Sun that we we miss <laughs> we miss stuff that's in the Sun stuff that's in the rain and we, we just I don't know but anyway get out get some sunshine you'll feel so much better your skin will look better you will just it has so much energy in it it's, it's a very very powerful light source so that's about what my fourth side note anyway you're unique takes two steps back ask God what his plan is for you what he designed you and your DNA to do it's not gonna be like everybody else it's your path the plan he has the purpose he has for you is not going to be like everybody else and guess what some people are gonna be downright pissed off at you because you're gonna get so much joy so much peace so much truth so much authenticity so much comfort in the skin that you're in it's going to intimidate them because they don't want to do that they don't want to you know cause people to be uncomfortable they don't want to step outside their own comfort zone so that's when you know that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing is when people become uncomfortable and it's like unsettling to them who you are that's when you know that you're walking in your destiny because your destiny is designed for you and at the end of that destiny is greatness we don't become great because we're conforming to detours 
other patterns. Oh, I want to be like her. I want to be like him. I want to be like so-and-so. No, be you. Be the best you you can be. If you've never heard anything else I posted, please understand. You are fearfully and wonderfully made to be you. Now, can you improve on that? Yes. We go from glory to glory, from faith to faith. We're always pressing towards a higher calmness on our life. But at the same time, you don't want to go somewhere else. Get better within you. You can have biceps, triceps, better abs, better body, better teeth, eyes, whatever you want to do. But be you. At the end of that path, I promise you, is greatness. You'll leave a mark on the world and for generations. But if you fall into that pile with everybody else, all of the other, you know, they call it a rat trap. They call it a rat trap because all the rats go the same way the other rats are going. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkeys, they, you know, kind of go in packs together. But eagles, they fly by themselves. They have mates for life because they understand, I just can't be with any and every bird. Um, so think about what I said. Think about not conforming to the world or being transformed by the renewing of your mind getting in a conversation with your creator because he's the one that knows what he did for you oprah don't know what she and, and you respect oprah only because you know about oprah's money oprah respects her own blessing she understands her she's oprah but we we respect people with money more than we respect ourselves or who they really 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 truly are um and the, i'm gonna close this by saying in order to really 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 appreciate money you have to understand what kind of hell you had to go through to get the money and that kind of hell you have to go through to keep the money and so i guess if you never had any money you wouldn't understand that but in all actuality it's probably cost somebody a whole lot of hell some children uh, spouses peace some happiness to go after that paper that burns so quickly and, and it's not going to stay here you know somebody else going to spend it when you leave but anyway i'm rambling but please 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 stop chasing money if you go after your destiny you find out who you are, use your gifts to glorify God, the money will find you. Just telling you the truth because I'm probably the only one that's going to do it because I really don't care what somebody think about me, what I drive, what I wear, especially my hair. I love my hair. I just really, really love being able to just brush this hair up into this ponytail or two ponytails or whatever I decide to do that day and just keep all going. You know, I had to play with y'all. But anyway, hey, I love you. If I didn't love you, if I didn't want to see you be great, I wouldn't even be on here doing this. I could be somewhere else doing anything else, but I'm doing what I was called to do, not just what I'm capable. I love you. Enjoy your weekend. Your weekend. Stop trying to be like everybody else. Tag me up. Hit me up. Let me know if you thought about that. That's the only kiss I can give you because I don't know you, but God knows you. See you.